Smith, I'm the director here, which means I'm a very lucky man because I have the best job in the world. I get to rock up every morning, look around me and think, fantastic. Alright guys, Eddie from Victory Division here. We've arrived at the Travel Lodge before we go to Tank Fest tomorrow and I am ready to see some tanks. We're going to get all behind the scenes access with our VIP tickets and it's going to be great fun. Hopefully we'll see some famous faces including the Mighty Jingles, maybe even Quickie Baby. We'll never know. Um, we'll be able to play some World of Tanks but obviously the most important thing is going behind the scenes, seeing, getting some history about some of these tanks and having a good time. So I will see you guys when we get there tomorrow. All right guys, so it's 8.15 in the morning. We've got our VIP tickets right here. I don't know if it's like mirrored on the on the camera or something, but we're setting off to Tank Fest. We should be there by, I don't know, what time do you think we'll be there by? About quarter to nine. Quarter to nine, something like that. Um, when we get there, we will show you the line. There's probably gonna be a huge line. Um, and after that, we're gonna go around. I'll video most of it and we'll get behind the scenes access with these. So I'm now here at Tank Fest. We're waiting here to meet the mighty Jingles in line. Um, I'm probably gonna get, I'm probably gonna video myself. Oh, I'm gonna get my dad to video, <laughs> dad to video me um, meeting him. It's gonna be so exciting. Um, I've been, you know, I've been waiting years to meet him, and he's such a good content creator. We really great to see him for once. So let's have a look. So can I vandalise this fool? Yeah, yeah. Wait, why not? <laughs> this is our pilgrimage. We tried to get your eye light, didn't we? Did you yes. Yeah. Um, we. Um, we actually messaged you when you were, remember Cow's Museum? Yes. Yeah. Um, we were going there to meet you because we, went up, we were on holiday there at the time. Oh, you could. And uh, we, we said we got there at half twelve and you were like, oh, well, we got there at half twelve and we left at half twelve. Ah, how? So here, we're making up for it now. Well, you got me today. <laughs> what were your number in the Navy, Jingle? Say what? What was your number in the Navy? Service number? Yeah. D223476. So, oh, you're, old, you're, old, you're older than me. <laughs> no, really? <laughs> I'll just black cat you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it's really great to see you. Uh, in it, Eddie. Yeah, my dad's name. Have you got your sign? Yeah, we have, yes. Oh, you. Can I see what else? Yeah. Better not keep you. Give it too long. <laughs> thank you very much. I'll, I'll see you later. Thanks for meeting you. Yeah, so I am so excited and happy that we actually made, met the mighty Jingles. I'm so stuttering. <laughs> I'm going to stop in front of Jingles. We've got ourselves a signature right there. Oh, mirrored in the camera. I will have it though. That's fantastic. So me and my dad are going to walk around the museum. We'll probably take a few short videos, maybe some pictures, and I'll see you in a moment. So this is what we're seeing in the museum. This is a Pershing. Look at that landing craft there. What's this, a, a locust? I've seen enough of these in World of Tanks, haven't we? Well, I have. I'm sure none of you guys, actually. Yeah. Wow. You don't see many locusts there, I'm just saying. Is that a Wolverine or a Jackson? M10, I think that's a Wolverine. Yeah. Yeah. A Panzer one. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> oh. See this at the beginning of World War II. Lovely. It's on. <laughs> How's it? Look at the size of this Jag Panther. Another German tank. And next to it, Lola Brother, the Hetzer. So we've got there a good old British tank. I think it's a Centurion. We used them in the Falcons War, well, I think. Or at least the, to an extent. Fifty-five miles per hour over rough terrain. It is designed to protect personnel against roadside explosions and mine attacks. 
It is armed with a general purpose machine gun or GPMG for crew protection, operated by the commander at the front. On top, it can carry either a 7.62mm GPMG, a 12.7mm heavy machine gun, or a 40mm grenade machine gun as the main weapon system in the fire support role. Those are laid by So you can see the bridge layer actually working now. Overwatch to the infantry section and their warrior as they commence the their assault. The you can see how close the warrior, the warrior will get to the enemy trench before dismounting its infantry section. This is deliberate as it ensures that the dismount spend the least amount of time possible in the open. So we've got to do all getting out of the back. See the first smoke grenade out of the fucking guy on top of it. Oh, yeah. Make sure that no one's going to hurt. Yeah. 
Once the fire trench has been cleared, the section will remount their warrior as soon as possible and prepares to be tasked to clear another position. Here they charge you, right, boys? <laughs> you can see the warrior scooping up with them. Charger at the back there. Charge. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Surrender. That looks like the warrior's not very happy. Oh, oh no. Oh. <laughs> Man down. Yeah. Massive that. <laughs> Oh. oh, poor guy. Mm. Oh, guy's just got into position. All right, so it's just about 12 o'clock. We've just watched all those, um, I think, the British Army displays. There was a mixture of other things as well. Um, and it's coming, it's coming up to about lunchtime, and look here, we've got, can we get an interview with that? We've got a buffet meal, because we've got the VIP tickets. Um, oh, it's going to be amazing, we're just sitting there, and we've got a great view down at the museum. It's, it's fantastic. We've got our own seats as well. I'm number, number 24. We've got our own seats um, in, this, in this tent. We're overlooking the arena, and uh, we're going to go shopping for a bit, and then we'll have some lunch, so see you then, maybe. So we've come across mini tank land. <laughs> We're sitting down for lunch, looks gorgeous. <laughs> we came after shopping, I think what I'll do is, um, at the end of the video I'll be at home and I'll show you guys what I bought. We have this lovely buffet dinner. Thumbs up. Yes. <laughs> we have finished setting up for the battle which this year focuses on the fighting in Normandy in the summer of 1944. As the Allied invasion force prepared for the largest seaborne invasion in history, General Dwight D. Eisenhower, the Supreme Commander Allied Forces in Europe, delivered his eve of battle speech. Soldiers, and airmen, of the Allied Expeditionary Force. You are about to embark upon the great crusade toward which we have striven these many months. The eyes of the world are upon you. The hopes and prayers of liberty-loving people everywhere march with you. In company with our brave allies and brothers in arms on other fronts, you will bring about the destruction of the German war machine, the elimination of Nazi tyranny over the oppressed peoples of Europe, and security for ourselves in a free world. Your task will not be an easy one. Your enemy is well trained, well equipped, and battle-hardened. He will fight savagely. But this is the year 1944. Much has happened since the Nazi triumphs of 1940-41. The United Nations have inflicted upon the Germans great defeat in open battle, man to man. Our air offensive has seriously reduced their strength in the air, and their capacity to wage war on the ground. Our home front have given us an overwhelming superiority in weapons and munitions of war, and placed at our disposal great reserves of trained fighting men. The tide has turned. The free men of the world are marching together. Oh, gosh. I thought that was too loud on camera. <laughs> yeah. I got the research. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
necessary. That, those, that explosion was the fighters. <laughs> Now, if you focus your attention on the arena, or our, for our purposes, occupied France, you can see French resistance fighters moving stealthily. Stealthily? <laughs> <laughs> in this case, French resistance. That's the moving stealthily. But before they can knock out this valuable supply base, they first have to eliminate the guards. Utilizing coded messages, hundreds of small groups of resistant fighters were activated to play a crucial role in interdicting supply and communication lines many miles away from the actual combat areas, consequently slowing down and delaying the German military's ability to quickly respond to the invasion. France, June 1944, D-Day. As dawn breaks, the horizon fills with the largest armada the world has ever seen. 150,000 men are about to be unleashed onto the beaches and fields of Normandy. We've just finished watching the D-Day reenactment of Omaha Beach. Absolutely fantastic. Um, credit to all of the reenactors. Did an awesome job there. And um, I'll see you guys at home when I show you guys what we've got. Back and from Tank Fest. It's honestly been just one of the best days of my life. I was absolutely starstruck when I met Jingles. Honestly, I, I can't even blame myself. Um, I've been waiting for a long time to see him, uh, especially since uh, I didn't see him last time I went to Tankfest. And I also spent a lot of money on stuff on Tankfest um, last time round. And this year, so I thought I'd spend um, a little bit less. So I got myself three t-shirts. And we got, this is my kind of type of Porsche, because I'm not much of a car guy, I'm a tank guy. And I like some Porsche tanks over a, a few Porsche cars. We've got ourselves the Panzerkampfwagen Zwei. I think that means six. Tiger. So there we go. Got a cool t-shirt there. Those were two for 15 quid. And that official Tankfest t-shirt was also 15 quid. And this thing here, I do collect a few of these from time to time. Um, it's a T72 um, full metal model. Um, I remember... A few years ago, I bought four models for 40 quid, which, yes, is a bit ridiculous. Uh, I was a bit more into tanks back then. Um, so I thought I'd buy one this year, but that was four quid, so it was, you know, uh, much better value for money. And I think it's a nice German packaging right there. I can't tell what that says on the camera. Uh, yeah, whatever. So, guys, thanks a lot for watching the video. It's very different to usual because I've never really done a vlog type video before. Um, I know this is going to take ages to edit. I've got lots of different video bits of video footage and photos to mix together. I'm going to edit it all. Um, probably going to go up tomorrow. I can't imagine it going up today, to be honest. <laughs> uh, it's nine o'clock, so uh, I really need to chill out. I'll edit the video. It should be up tomorrow, guys. But if you enjoyed the video, enjoyed the vlog style of the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.